Alright guys, I'm going to do a quick rundown of related equations and how to use them along with the energy equations. So, yeah, this is perfect. I'm going to take the late equation, which is C, there it is, equals lambda times nu. Now, C is the speed of light. And it's also equal, I'm going to put this below it, 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. That will never change. Lambda is wavelength, or the distance. If you have a wave, it's the distance from the start of one wave to the start of the next. And nu is frequency. Or how often a wave occurs within a second. Then you have the energy equation. Let's change colors for that. E equals Planck's constant, or H, times nu. Now, you already know that nu is frequency, so we don't have to talk about that again. But E is the energy, and that's measured in joules. And H is Planck's constant, make sure I spell this guy's name right. Name's not actually written on here, so I'm just gonna wing it. And that is 6.626 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th. Now let's do a practice problem. Now that we have all of that. So if I were you, maybe take a screenshot of this so that you know what you're looking at. Remember that our formulas up here. And I want a little bit more space to work with. So first we want to calculate the energy. of a photon with wavelength equal to 6.4 is that helpful? Six point four times ten to the negative seventh meter. So let's see what we've got. We know C Yes, we know C. C is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Wavelength is 6.4 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. New frequency is what? So we need to find that. Our goal here is to find energy, and finding the frequency is part of that. This frequency is the missing part of the energy equation. Energy is what we need. And Planck's we already have. It's 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds. Alright, now to find our frequency, we need to rearrange the and not the energy, the light equation a little bit. So instead of using C equals lambda nu, we divide 
I'm going to use a different color for this. There we go. Divide both sides by the leaf thing. So it goes away over there. And now we can just use C divided by wavelength equals frequency. So when we plug that in, uh -huh. it's two times ten to the eighth meters per second divided by six point four times ten to the negative seventh meters, and that will give us our new, and that's going to come out to 4.69 times 10 to the 14th hertz. So now you plug this in to our energy equation, which if you recall is E equals Planck's times new. So I'm gonna scooch down just a tiny bit. So then E and I'm gonna circle this. E equals 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th meters, negative second, times 4.69. I'm going to move down a little bit more just so we have I'm going to move us a little bit more, just so we have a little bit more space there. 4.69 times 10 to the 14th hertz. So when you calculate all of that out, you're going to end up with 3.11 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. And that's the light equation. So practice on your own. You have your practice pages and your documents available. That's it. So good luck, happy equating, and I'll talk to you soon.